So here's the third bed, which was the first one we planted back in the early spring. Here are the leeks, which were once the size of those little ones you just saw. They're four inches deep. Now they're growing up tall. The radishes are long gone in this row. We now actually have some beets ready to harvest, and soon we'll have some carrots ready to harvest. So we're, you know, we're making some real progress here. When we pull out these carrots and beets, not only do we get to use the, <coughs> use the carrots and beets, but that loosens up the soil, which then makes it very easy to rake it in next to the leeks and blanch them even further. The soil's right there. And the great thing is, as soon as we do that, then we've made a space where we can plant something again. By then, it'll be some fall crop, smaller than beets, probably lettuces or something like that for September, October, November, until we're ready to harvest the leeks. And what that means is that in each bed, and there are three sets of them, in each bed, we've gotten a leek crop, two radish crops, a beet crop, and a carrot crop, and then two fall crops. So we've gotten seven crops out of one bed over the course of one season, starting in about you know, late March, early April, and going all the way through until Christmas when we picked the last of the leeks. That's what I mean by year-round high yield production in a small space. And it, it works.